<laughs> the absolute most amazing podcast. Yes. Pretty good, dude. Not bad. I'm with you. I've seen your movie podcast. It goes hard, man. Yeah. I got two more I need to put Hard Which the Which night. ones are you guys doing, reviewing? I'm still working on... I still haven't put out um, Future War, Tomorrow War. Tomorrow War. The, the one that we watched? In July. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then... We can uh, talk about Did you that. watch any of the... Um, Symbio Psycho Taxi Plasm, which ooh. was a really good the, one. The weird... Yeah. Weird one that was like from the 60s. Is it a movie? Is it a documentary? Like It's kind of both. It? Yeah, you're not sure. And then there was... Uh, did you guys do any of the Fish Streets? That were on Netflix. That's funny oh, you say that because, oh, yeah, that's on my list. I haven't watched them okay. yet. There's three, and the goal was to watch them all, but I said if they're bad, I just won't make it through, and that'll uh, be part of what we talk about. They were a- actually kind of scary they? to me. All right, I'll check it out. I feel like you got to watch all three after you watch the yeah. first two. I'll probably know? watch one of them today because I need to. Uh, I've been behind on, on that my uh, movie watching. Watch your movie watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. But I just, we just, I, last night I just watched, um, so I'm thinking of ending things, which is a Netflix. I've seen it. It's really good. It is. It's the, by one of my main favorite actor directors, and writers. It, like he crushes. He does really well. I don't can't yeah, think of his name. His either. name was like Todd. And, I, I call him Meth uh, Damon because he looks like Matt Damon <laughs> if he's done a lot. <laughs> Just a fatter version. He was in uh, Friday Night Lights, which is a really good yes. TV show. Which I don't even like football, but it's like just a great like show. get him, <laughs> get him. It's just real life like situational drama stuff. Mm-hmm. So he was young back then but already a good actor but yeah he's he's awesome yeah he's but it's not, he's the, progressed the, a lot and the he's getting was, some bigger um, roles yeah no he, he was on a, some uh black mirror or yep. a black mirror black mirror too. But yeah he's getting a lot of stuff did any of you guys watch some of the latest you don't uh, want to get closer walking to that dead movie. episodes no i didn't know that show was still closer. going on yeah they, they continued it I never got into it, to be yeah, honest, man. But really? I never really gave it a right, fair... Pull it closer to you. Pull your stand closer. Okay. No, not you. Just Matt. Oh, Matt. I'm trying to get on the Skirt. other side of it. Honestly, Matt. I never really gave The Walking Dead a fair shot. Like It's not great. Just committed time to it. It was <laughs> there are fun great, at first. And then there are like, great right, moments. Yeah. There are great moments. That character, Negan, what they do with him is just... Mwah. I don't think I ever met that character. And it was towards the end when I gave up on the yeah. show, okay. but I tried to give it another it. run, like within the last year. I heard they just went too I many seasons, it. and the writing just got really bad. They tried to quit the entire show like three years ago, and they're, they're like, "This is the last season," and then they do another one. Yeah, I never <laughs> thought the one. writing was very good at all. Actually, not even the first two I, seasons. When I read the comic books, and the writing was even worse than the comic books. Mm-hmm. I thought, I thought maybe this is like better, and it wasn't. It wasn't good. Still well, suck. They made it a lot more about like the nature of humanity mm. and drama. Okay. Then it turns out the real monster was man. Man, all man. Along. that's exactly yeah. it, and it's just redundant. Yeah, okay. it's a little too much of the same. Yeah. But yeah, we're technically recording, so we can just like oh, jump right, we'll right, just we'll just keep this in here, man. Like, yeah, yeah, just keep going. Just letting you know. Sweet. I can Not, see the red on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're recording. Sweet, sweet. Should we're we, back uh, together. What what has it been? At least Past two months, I would say. Two or three. A month and a half ish. At least a month and a half. Yeah. 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 Six to eight yeah. weeks. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of lots happened. Yeah, just a little bit. A lot. I started a part-time job. It's kind of a big deal. No, <laughs> right? Kind of a big deal. Bitcoin's going to the moon. Bitcoin's going yeah. back up. Paul went to Nigeria and got to, his family. Yes. Yes. Got States. my family here. You know, I'm a family man doing mm-hmm. that whole thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's been great. It's Marriage challenging. Soon. Yep. Congrats, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. Couldn't happen to Going for that American dream, man. The white well, picket fence. Telling, yeah, I was telling Zach, all he needs that white picket fence, a dog. You know, two point one children. You got it all. A mini two point one. Okay. Yeah, it's two point one. Yeah, he wants yeah. like just a foot of a child. <laughs> <laughs> I love that foot. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it was a sad day when that when my foot got sick and we had to put my foot down. Right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> put my foot down. Good. Foot's rights. Anyway, exactly. Look, foot loose. 
Let's go. Do you guys have any topics that were on your mind that you wanted to start off with today? Well, a lot's been happening in the news. Um, I guess yeah. the the biggest topic of today's news world is Afghanistan. Yeah, Taliban. You mean that thing that's been going on for like fifty years? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Why now? What? Yeah. Why? When What's when we're on? talking about vaccine passports and people like going against this whole mandate in different states and trying to like protest it it's just like uh let's pull a card out of george w bush's yeah. hat mm-hmm. you know like yeah oh, Obama's this presidency. worked well for him let's well this really out. feels like obama present uh term three three point okay. oh like they're going back mm-hmm. to a lot of the same things that he talked about in the same Mm-hmm. He was dealing with the Middle East like a the lot. the same blueprint, kind of. He bombed, right. like, eight Middle Eastern countries, I think, during his, and supposedly pulled out and then went back and pulled out and went back a Multiple million times. times. Like, yeah, it's the same playbook. It sounds like they're fucking the Middle East. <laughs> They've been doing that literally. for, like I said, literally, oh, it, I'm not, I wasn't kidding, over 50 years. The CIA first, like, threw out, like, an Iranian leader in the 50s. Mm-hmm. And that's just the first one I know about. But they've been, like, destabilizing that area for, like, a, almost a century. Right. I wonder how far back it goes. Like, we have the whole Crusades issue. Like, And George W. Bush actually said this is the new crusade mm-hmm. when we started going to war with Afghanistan and Iraq. It was you kind may- of a holy war. Mm-hmm. A little bit. But it's been going on since 14... 14- 1500s which is because wow. inst- before i was taking notes when i thought we were going to do a podcast like a month ago so these <laughs> notes are like from a month and a half ago they, they could still be relevant and, just, well, and they could tie into some of the topics it's just a month about. and a half ago uh, biden said the biggest threat wasn't terrorists from the middle east but white supremacist terrorist right. was the biggest threat to america that's <laughs> right. what he said and, and now, now we're this talking is what's about happening. Taliban. so it's like after he said that the narrative needed to get shifted again yes we're like no let's talk about Middle East again. So what if Trump would have done what Biden has done? How he much kinda, hate would he tried to? He kind of did. Yeah, they I mean, lied he, to him. But, but I feel like Biden's not him. getting as much hate as Trump would have. Oh, absolutely. Oh, like, yeah. That's just yeah. so I'm kind of. But that it, that's because the left is blaming it on Trump. Like, oh, he exactly. he actually put this plan into motion, and Biden is just carrying it on. It's right. so annoying. But it's he hard can change for me to it. just watch the news any side anymore honestly like it's just so hard yeah absolutely like, that's what i was telling him earlier even for this show i almost want us to switch to um to so more like talking about just interesting topics or okay. ideas or like researching interesting things but okay like, outside of the norm we oh, we can still norm. talk about the news but i almost right. i just i'm sick of because it's just the same stuff yeah yeah like we, we've Cyclical. literally been at war in the middle east like my entire life like yeah it, it's just never ending and it's always the same drama oh should we pull out oh we pulled out there's problems oh we got to go back oh things are destabilizing oh we got to pull out and it's just like i'm so tired of it yeah I'm, I'm just curious where you guys think that this time it's going does does it mean just we're going to put troops back in there or are we going to have possibly a refugee crisis because mm. uh, all the news there, was yeah. today like every single headline was um like 800 refugees from kabul got on a u.s carrier jet mm. yeah and you I just see that. these pictures I mean, yeah just, the images i couldn't get rid of it in my news feed and it's just yeah. wild to think weren't they like that. in some and then the airplane the, like the mm, number on the airplane was n- yeah. was uh 911 like oh, it had it wow. had that on the uh, of i think it did. was in reverse though it was like 1119 or something but yeah, anyway no it's it's it well in the old playbook to me it seemed like it was connected to destabil- destabilizing specifically europe Mm -hmm. because they all have like incredibly open borders in europe so like especially the last 10 years that was happening a lot where like Mm -hmm. we would be bombing over there and then people would just be flooding into europe and flooding into all these northern european countries and it was almost like we were at war with them by like weird means of like sending refugees there to like disrupt their country and Mm -hmm. cause other problems absolutely so maybe they're gonna bring them in what way does that benefit america though i don't know i think it just benefits the elite like in general because they mm-hmm. want that to happen 
because there's the whole like Western world is not uh, reproducing that much, yep. so they need more taxpayers and people that uh, come from not just there for like Mexico or lower like income countries. They're mm -hmm. more leftist and socialist. Yep. So when those people come there, they vote for more democratic That's true. stuff. That's so a fact. like it helps them in that way. And there's there's a lot of yeah. reasons to it. But and we have we have the possibility now too by destabilizing that area again and literally handing over weapons to the Taliban mm -hmm. to That's the other thing. to we take train. over we're creating another enemy again yeah for us to possibly have this war machine go on because we are becoming more cycle. and more bankrupt especially with this pandemic printing more money and go burn. this is a reason to so when, start charging up the war machine when, again. Connected to that, Biden just said he's increasing food stamps by like 25%. Damn, the I biggest increase that. ever. Wow. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get on them food stamps. <laughs> so when did the troops officially pull out? Was it like this week? And then mm. the Taliban took over within a couple days? Their pullout this game is weak. <laughs> For a week. <laughs> for a week. <laughs> for a week. No, and it was within the last few days, and yeah. they just started slowly creeping into the capital city. It's, it's literally like he everything also, we've done in vain, Mike. Yeah, yeah and it, it wasn't like, really that the Taliban did anything. It was that the military and the police that we trained over there, they just said, here you go. Yeah. We're done. Well, like you said, that's the other cycle is we train our own enemies and fund our, and arm our own enemies, and they keep doing it over and over again. That's where ISIS came from. Yep. That's where Osama bin Laden came from. He, mm -hmm. was, he worked for the CIA mm -hmm. and was like supposedly an asset to help us in fighting Russia, and, now, and then he turned on. That's what we always do. We fund our, the, the rebels, and then the rebels turn on us, and we're like, oh, we gotta oh, go to war with these I guys. Why you guys do that? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're driving Toyotas and using, like, Humvees, and, and they got our weapons, like, yeah, it's the same playbook over and over again. Right. That's the same issue with, like, China and Russia. We've been talking about this weird Cold War with them mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. just It's never going to turn into, like, a hot war. Yeah, that's the other thing. I'm just sick of their narrative. It's like, let's make our own narrative, and uh, we don't need to p to play in that game anymore. Mm. Yeah, do you have any other topics? We don't have to get into news the whole time. We can talk about philosophy. Well, kind of connected to that was spirituality. like a bigger question. It was about TV in general. I like saw this old interview from uh, Rod Sterling. Do you guys know who that is? Mm -mm. He's the guy that wrote, like, um, uh, not The Outer Limits, but... Um, Oh man, I'll have to edit this part. No worries. What's it called? The do 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 Twilight, Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. Yeah. He wrote the Twilight Zone, and he was like really into making television that was like, with full of morality and like helping people try and be better people kind of stuff. And I feel like now there's not even any like effort in that whatsoever. It's like what like, I guess the question would be like, what do you think TV should be like? What would be a good media? To Man, for people to watch you're hitting on some really good stuff because now. i remember growing up watching some really wholesome shows like full Leave house the, yeah. the cosby Leave show the Beaver, we even before that, like, that you had different strokes you yeah. had like what's happening you mm -hmm. had the golden girls you had a lot of positive yeah. but even some of that had like some, there some they, they, they they touched on some really touchy issues but it always had more of a positive narrative towards it yeah and it excluding the golden girls a okay. lot of it had very good family values but yeah, yeah. think about it it, it still was kind of like the precipice of the destruction of the family like look at what full house is like mm. the it's a, the it typical disney story like it, the mom is dead yeah. and the dad has to have you well, know that's his the arc. brothers dad around to the help. there's yeah. like this meta story arc that has been told like through television the last hundred years. Like, well, when's TV been around? Like seventy Probably years, not quite a hundred. Started in the fifties, right? I yeah, say. somewhere around there. But 
like starting with Leave It to Beaver, which is like the perfect wholesome mom, dad, everyone's White happy. White Pickett family, yeah. Then you go forward in time and you get to the Leave It to Beaver, or I mean, sorry, the uh, what you were talking about. Full House. Full House era where there's like more divorce, there's like more dysfunction. Death. <laughs> and then you get up to modern times and it's literally Breaking Bad, where it's about mm. the family being evil, doing evil fighting yeah, it's or like a uh, modern that's, family if you've show, ever seen that it's slowly progressed oh, okay. that shows how like the narrative has slowly altered over time to become darker and mm -hmm. reflecting that back at us instead of saying like oh be this happy open community family mm -hmm. to now we're just like hate your family do drugs like murder people yep. <laughs> that's literally what the families are doing now in all the tv mm -hmm. shows and there's like there's a definite shift in in culture that's like happened over there. Yeah, especially as a reflection of like like from culture, a reflection of what the family should be is mm -hmm. kind of what you're saying, right? Like, yeah. And like what where does it come from? Is that really a natural outgrowth of culture or is that specific programming that's been pumped into society? almost feels like it's specific, like they're mm. generating ratings or just trying to motivate people in some type of way. I'm not really sure yeah. why, but it definitely seems intentional, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, and there's a lot of, you know, higher ups, which I had names, but a lot of higher ups that have gone to committee meetings and talked about the like trying to influence culture by yeah. breaking down the family in mm -hmm. all these different ways. Look, the mean, um, Leary Foundation is one, which has ties to the CIA, actually. Wow. But they specifically write scripts for Hol for Hollywood and okay. TV shows and like yeah look look up the Leary family. I was going to say the they music like industry is a perfect example of that mm -hmm. you know um, especially like rappers like Will Smith yeah. like because he's they considered him like a corny rapper he was wholesome and yeah fast. like mm -hmm. he wouldn't sell records like Tupac all the girls wanted Tupac they didn't want mm -hmm. Will Smith you know he was a pretty good rapper you know what I mean mm -hmm. but he was kind of true to himself you know what I mean yeah. and what he the way he raps wouldn't sell today or even in that time you know it, yeah. there was kind of a shift that was one of the first like albums i had hip, was oh, Will Smith. yeah and it's kind of an embarrassing record to listen to now but yeah because he, he doesn't cuss and i have the wild raps. west and it's really hard to rap yeah, without in, in cussing. My <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. It sounds super corny. <laughs> that, that's just who wow, he is. Wow, he's like a family man. He's not a gangster. He's mm -hmm. just a real yeah. dude. I respect that about him, though. He's Don't very be fake. Good about that. Right. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that show, really <laughs> that show was actually very wholesome. That show was actually very wholesome. It was. Yeah, it was. It was it a was good a, show. And it was, but it also had the dysfunction that was like on the way. Because yeah. it was about him leaving his Philly. broken family to live with his uncle. Who was more wealthy and like had it together? Yeah, but they had a, a a very good, solid relationship between the mom and the dad. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It was a strong family unit. Yeah. We need more of that. Yeah. Show enough. So yeah, that's what we would want on TV: more wholesome family things. That's right. what I loved was stuff like Star Trek, which okay. wasn't like a traditional family. That was like more of a. It was more, well, technically it was like militaristic or okay. like setting, but it was about just people that were morally good, that wanted to do good in the universe and were trying to solve problems through their words and not violence. I love know? it. And they all didn't yeah. look alike. You yeah. Know and it was I mean, just like just all kinds of, of cultures people. and people getting along. Yeah. Well, we were talking about like the cultural programming of the, the sitcom style, but let's talk more about the sci-fi style now. Mm -hmm. um, the Gene Roddenberry. Roddenberry, that? that's right. Yeah, yep. okay. he has a yep. lot of ties. He to was kind of communistic. Yeah, and uh, yeah, um, and that's been proven time and time again. He also just was but, an artist, like you know, he had a vision. So yeah, and that's one. You thing guys are gonna have to refresh me. I don't know who that is. That's the creator of Star Trek. Okay, Gene okay. Roddenberry. Nice. I'm surprised you knew that. Good call. Good, you pulled that one out. <laughs> I listen to a lot of Jay Dyer. Thank you. Yeah, with Jay Dyer, yeah. yeah. He's a big nerd, yeah, for sure. But no, uh, there's a lot of programming involved with the, the sci-fi stuff. Like, you have the Huxleys with uh, Brave New World. And, yeah. Like, their family goes way back oh, into eugenics that. and um, technocracy and all of that. And mm -hmm. uh, I feel like you read a sci-fi book and in 10 years they're – they're trying to implement it. Like, mm. does that come naturally? 
like we're talking about with the sitcoms, or do you think that's written in? I I know the answer, but right. I well, wonder. It depends on the author, say. I would imagine. Good. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of that. Like I, I just read uh, Childhood's End, which is an insane kind of prophetic book as well mm-hmm. about using science fiction to like sort of program s- different ideas. Mm. Have you guys heard anything about it? Mm-hmm. I haven't heard that one, no. I can give you like a quick synopsis because yeah, there's kind of a twist early on in the book because these aliens show up basically, uh, just ships. That's really what shows up as they see ships appearing in the sky, these massive ships that just sit there. They don't hurt anyone. They don't destroy anything. You know, it's not like Independence Day where they just blow sh- stuff up. Yeah. Trying not to cuss. <laughs> um, nice. But, and then they start communicating with humans and they're like, yeah, we're, you know, I don't even remember how they introduce themselves, but basically they're saying everyone just kind of realizes that they can't fight these things. Some, some, someone shoots a nuke at them, like some rogue nation, <laughs> and it does no damage to them and they don't retaliate. They're not like trying to hurt humans, mm-hmm. but they just show that they're superior in every way, basically. And then people just kind of realize they can't fight them and like all wars kind of just stop and Earth kind of just becomes super peaceful. Wow. And then they start communicating That's with us. That's profound. But they like don't. Um, they only communicate with like one person, and then they start using radios every once in a while when they need to make an announcement. But they're not. They don't reveal themselves, like what they look like. Mm-hmm. And there's like a big controversy about it. And then at some point, early on in their interactions with us, because they're kind of giving us help and like helping us solve problems on Earth and like just making the world a better place, basically. Mm-hmm. But people are distrustful, and they won't. And they're like, "All right, we'll reveal reveal ourselves to you in like 50 years after you guys have had time to like get used to the fact that we exist, and you'll be more accepting, you know, in the future." Which people are kind of mad about. There's like a rebel unit that's of people that are trying to fight back, but there's nothing they can really do, so they just kind of let them try, you know. Wow. And then when they finally wow. reveal themselves, it turns out they're basically Satan. Like they what? literally look like. Th- like horns, wings, red, they're, giant, they're like giants compared to us. That sounds similar to uh, Arrival. Like, it's kind of like that, a little more I never more actually watched it, but I, I yeah. heard a breakdown of it. That's like and, more small scale. Like it ha- It's just like one alien in one place. That oh, Actually, no, that ha- does happen all over the Earth because different scientists mm-hmm. in the world are trying to learn They're how trying to communicate. trying to learn the language. It's very similar, but those are less ominous than this okay. one because these ones are just like full on like, Dark. controlling kind of like uh, earth uh. society but that that book goes crazy places too because it ends up with it says childhood's end but they basically i don't want how much i want to spoil but Go ahead, I'll, man. I'll just give I'm you the basic this premise the ending is that so like after living with us kind of for a hundred years or a generation or two um humanity gives birth to like a psychic basically the first psychic and these they're called the overlords that's what the aliens call themselves mm. that's which is also bit, really yeah. creepy intense um but yeah what they humans give birth to a psychic which is kind of like happening mysteriously and they don't really talk about it but the family of the psychic realizes what's happening and the, and they're like the overlords are protecting the psychic cuz he almost dies and they like save him and he's like well they're watching over us um but it turns out that, like, the overlords themselves even aren't, like, the highest authority in the galaxy. There's something above them that they don't even really understand that, like, is a psychic entity that, like, is evolving species all over the world. It's called God. That's kind of, maybe, or, <laughs> or something else. I don't know. Yeah. But it, like, basically what happens is when humans start giving birth to the first psychic generation, mm-hmm. it becomes, like, another species, basically, like... They're like a hive-linked psychic mind that we can't even like comprehend or communicate wow. with, and um, it ends our civilization because they they don't have any more children. All the children kind of create their own society, mm. and then humans stop having children and just kind of like fade away wow. until there's no more humans left, and there's just the psychic children that like link up to this thing and just like Weird. poof. And there's like one human that's left because he like hijacked into one of the overlord ships to try and find their world and. He was just like curious and like snuck into one of their ships. So because of time dilation, he's like, he's gone for a few months. But by the time he gets back to Earth, 
it's been like a hundred years and everyone's dead except these psychic children. So he like witnesses the end of humanity or whatever. That's crazy. But that's that's how the book. Is. Dude, that's <laughs> awesome. They need it's, a it's movie. It's trippy of as this hell. There sure is a TV does. show, I think. I don't know how accurate it is, but it's weird because it it has those elements and that that the premise of the overlords and that whole thing, which even the way they do it is a trick because you learn there are ships all over the world. Mm. But after 50 years, when they reveal themselves, they reveal that only one of those ships was real and they were all holograms. Damn. And they, so they weren't as imposing. They still were incredibly powerful, but they weren't. It was some trickery involved mm -hmm. and it was controlling society to be for the better. So it reminded me of Scien Scientology or, I mean, sorry, technocracy. technocracy and yeah. and scientism. Scientism. Mm -hmm. It was very scientism because they basically were like, you know, you just have to have faith that we know what's better for you. You know, that's kind of, that was definitely implied. And it was through force because there was no way to fight back even really right. against, because they had such crazy technology. Yeah, and that that's what we're kind of doing right now is giving so much power to these weird autists or <laughs> whatever the fuck they I know are. what you mean. Whatever you the Bill Gates these, of these the world. elite nerds yeah mm -hmm. that are trying to take over everything like we're giving them so much power and like respect well isn't and funds that we're not going to be able to rebel yeah at a certain isn't point isn't what uh the ultimate. Rand paul was kind of talking about like they can't arrest everyone like if you don't follow their mandates what are they going to do can mm -hmm. they stop 300 million americans they can't yeah. you know what i mean that's what so, they're trying to get to a point where we can't even fight back the problem exactly. is Pretty much everyone I know is, except for a Vaccinated. select few, is shaming me for not, not getting right. the vaccine. Oh, you, you have a friend in the hospital. Have you been vaccinated? No. Well, then it's your fault. You know, like, that's kind of the sentiment. No, you're around, right. Around, yeah. like, probably 65 to 70 percent of the population right now. You're basically, like, called an idiot if you're not getting vaccinated or if you don't believe this statistic. An idiot is at that's best. pretty nice. At yeah, worst, well, yeah, you're an kind. evil, selfish bastard. Well, people are really, like, sarcastic about it. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you know. I, I mean, literally just saw a post today, like, this mom, she's like a 30-year-old I grew up with. Uh, she has a kid in the Duval County school system She's like pro mask and everything, and she was just like, "Fuck all these moms that are trying to like make it to where their kids don't have to wear masks." And just like, mm. yeah, just volatile wow. about it. Meanwhile, it's wild. there's studies that show that it's worse for kids to wear masks than not because it's like unhealthy. Mm -hmm. But there's no discussion allowed of that. It's just like there's certain topics that you're allowed to. It's definitely unhealthy, but. Is it more unhealthy to have COVID? Well, that, that's, see, that's Especially a debate. The Delta. Why can't we just... See, there's no healthy debate. Like, people aren't trained to to talk about things. Right. They're trained mm -hmm. to, like, take a position and then just yell at the person that right. has the and other be really position. defiant on their opinions. Good, there's good arguments to be made on there all is. sides. There is. Absolutely. But that's when you start shutting out at. one side of the argument, it causes so much tension and division. Right. Which is where we've been for quite a while, you know, with yeah. this new age society. Just counsel you if we disagree with you, you know. Mm -hmm. There's no actual room for conversation, you know, which is the reason we started this podcast. Yeah. It's just have a normal conversation. There's things all of us don't completely agree on, but we're able to talk about it pretty openly. Yeah. You know, not shut mm -hmm. each other down for it. You know, I personally, I don't think like the vaccine is like killing people. I'm not there yet. Mm -hmm. I'm just more or less not trusting of it because mm -hmm. of how everything was rushed, you know, and I don't know the science behind it, nor am I smart enough to know it, but they should be a little more transparent on it, you know? Yeah. But there, yeah, there's none of that, you know? I just don't trust it, you know? It's like, that's, that's what scares me is people that just trust people because they say they're a doctor or they say that they're in this authority position. Like, that doesn't mean you should just trust what it's they not, say. It's not critical thinking. We don't teach people to do Absolutely. that, to be trusting. That's not our natural mm -hmm. uh, way of thinking. We, te we teach people to, like, question things and to understand things critically. You we know should. I mean? Right. Yeah. Well, Most people yeah. aren't talking about And to that, look right? at both sides. Yeah. And wait, wait we yeah. even teach kids that, mm -hmm. you know. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's just critical race theory. It's wear a mask. It's... Be vaccinated. Don't question it. Shut up, slave. Yeah, it's all. Shut up and obey, slave. It wasn't like that. Don't know, talk so back. Many years ago, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. It's amazing how the left and the shorts. right had shifted. You know, the right has become the left. The right has become the left has become the right. It's like they've shifted mm-hmm. um, positions. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, it, it was wild. Like it's crazy. Back in the uh, early two thousands, mm-hmm. late nineties, the right was like the one that's like you can't say this on the radio. Mm-hmm. You can't say that. If you say this, then we're not listening Pokemon to you. Pokemon is of the devil. Is of the devil. <laughs> And now rock it's just music like, is for the devil. Yeah, it's music. just as or more extreme right. with the mm-hmm. other end of things. Yeah, the left is the it's one crazy. telling you you can't listen to certain music or watch certain shows because they're problematic. Pro- Instead of being sinful, they're problem. Problematic is the new sinful. Right. And it kind of means the same thing. It does. It's just a different religion, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is, literally. And wow. there is original sin with it, too, because if you're white, if you're born with original whiteness sin. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. You're born evil. Yeah, oh, uh, true. Paul, you you got privilege. I do. Not I do. Today I do. You are today not born. Maybe not fifty years ago. But today I do. <laughs> Sad. That's we're joking up. about it, but it's kind of true. Mm-hmm. Honestly, yeah. That's why he's here. He gives us credibility because <laughs> otherwise this, just this white podcast just would have been shut down a long time. Too ago. far. <laughs> white. You can't listen to white people. Yeah. I'm telling you, can't do it. Mm-mm. No, the, the white devil. White ain't right. The white devil. <laughs> white can not. I say that? Yeah, I can. Of course, you can, can say whatever Black. you want. I really I can. can. Say that? I can say the n word if I wanted to. Whoa! I've <laughs> actually never heard you say it. No, yeah, I don't. I, don't. I haven't. Uh-uh. Good. I just don't. I don't believe in it. You know. Like, Good. I don't know. I just think it's really. I think it's a, a word we should completely eliminate. I I completely agree with you. I, don't I, think I mean, on all sides, but yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Just, why say it? But like, people will support it and say it's it's our heritage, it's our right. culture. So so own it. No, like, no, really. And then if it's a A at the end or if it's an ER, it's completely different. I'm just not about that, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a good tribe called Quest song about that very topic. Okay. About the pro- the uses of the N word and. I don't think they've ever working. said it. Do they? Are they kind yeah, of like have, in su- really? the song is called of it or are they finding the. On- <laughs> sucka in, in that word. You, can you say it? Wait, I, I it's can. sucka. He, I won't no, say it. <laughs> don't say it. I don't want to spoil it. I can, but I won't say it. But that's the song if you okay. want to look it up. It's a good song. What, just, what does it kind of talk about? What does the song kind of talk about? Though? I don't know. You, you got to listen to okay. it. You could okay. take it. In fact, Hugh, I might, I might not even agree with well, the just, song. I'm I just wanted to see if they support like... Black people saying it's just being able to it's say more it of a and, history. It's just saying this okay. is why we're using why people are using it in okay. general. They're not really saying it's like good or bad necessarily. They're just saying this is what where it started with young kids saying it and put it in their songs and taking it back and hmm. right. I don't want to try and rhyme it. Right no. <laughs> you should, man. Because then I might accidentally I've, say the I've word. I've heard both you guys rap. Not yeah. bad. He's good. Bad. He's I've heard. Good. I've heard. Let's just say I've heard worse. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have. Yeah, that's good. And possible fossil. Yeah, possible throwing some fossil. plugs out there. Yeah. No, it's it's possible. Oh, fossil. possible fossil. Possible. Possible fossil. Possible. Possible fossil. Sorry about that. I didn't and it could be possible <laughs> fossil if you join us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get it. Um. Mm-hmm. That yeah, we should face. do a rap song, guys. Yeah, should I'd be actually down. that would be awesome. I'd be down. That'd be a fun afternoon. Yeah. Let's yes, do it. Absolutely. We each take a verse. I'm down. Do a chorus together. I'm down. I like it. Uh, let's look at your notes here. That, Other is topics? there anything else that kind of ties into what we were talking about? Mm, well, we were talking about making... We kind of went all over the place. But making man the enemy of man. That was okay. kind of tied into that. That was a specific goal of the Club of Rome, who mm-hmm. uh, first came up with the idea of like car- carbon score. And uh, Bilderberg talking, was huge on that too. Using climate change, mm-hmm. and they basically have used COVID to do the same thing and like amplify it. And they so did literally, it so quickly. we're all enemies of of each other, where we can't um, talk to each other. Even like in Britain and Australia, they're literally saying, "Don't talk to, don't talk to your neighbor." <laughs> if you go outside and you see your neighbor, I know you might want to say hi. Don't. That'll kill him. Like yeah. that's literally yeah. what they're no, saying. No, Australia has. Gone fucking it's haywire. Crazy. Pretty tyrannical. And that's where man. I think their test. That's the test bed. They're seeing how far they can push it there, and then they're gonna bring it. They're gonna import it here. It will be last though, because we have weapons. Maybe. 
We're well, also we have a lot of defiant people too in this country because they're do. still about. Well, some people are all about it. They're like stoked on it. Like they're virtue signaling yeah. about it. They're they're like make literally. They have like this stamp on your Facebook profile pic that you can put like, yeah. let's all get vaccinated. Mm-hmm. Right. The same one I'm they vaccinated. had with the mask first came out. Wear your mask. Do your part. Yeah. Do you think these people just aren't educated? Or are they just They're like, educated by the public school to trust government and obey. Okay. Yeah. And I, trust the the technocratic um, laboratory elite. Like Fauci is a god to these people. Oh. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. He knows how to but do make they us survive. Genuinely feel like they're bettering society and they're saving people's lives yes. by being vaccinated. Yeah, they do. That's they kind of where that. I'm at. Or, yeah, I don't think or people, people are just kind of like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna get it," just so it makes my life easier. There's a literal I feel mass. Like there's a, kind there's of few. Okay. There's yeah. a mass delusion. I just heard. I don't know the person's name, but if you look up mass delusion, you'll probably find it. But there's a specific, like, scientifically studyable thing that's happening where people are like trusting because of the fear and the stress that's being pumped into people they're like beta waves are like lining up where they just want to like mm. follow what's going to keep them safe and this mm-hmm. it's very similar to what happened in in a uh, nazi germany mm. it's just slightly different reasons um and it's in germany they were more like i think evilly manipulating people but most of the people here that are pushing it i think are more fear-based and they're just like it's like a hypnosis, like mass hypnosis, yeah. where people are just like, it yes, works like too. I need to fall okay, in line to live and survive. Yeah, it's like a survival instinct thing, mm-hmm. and they know how to like use that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've heard both types of people where okay. some are like, "I'm a superhero for getting the vaccine, and you're absolute scum if you don't get it." Mm-hmm. But then I've also heard people that are just like, "I just want to go to f- like play Concerts music and again." Stuff, yeah. 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 It's really like, sad. That's all they want. And yeah. then they're like mad at you because yeah. you're the reason they can't go to a concert tomorrow night because we have a flare up in Florida or something. You know, it's mm-hmm. the flu fighters concert. You wanted to go <laughs> to. But uh, <laughs> I didn't come up with that. No, nice nice man. Fair. Dad jokes. <laughs> But that, that was the good one, yeah, because they even want, you had to get vaccinated to go to the Foo Fighters, but then the Foo Fighters, who presumably all of them were vaccinated, someone still got COVID. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they had to happen? cancel the show. Oh, and there was a band, I'm trying to remember who it was, just recently. There was a, a big band, I'll look it up in a minute, but... Uh, okay. I wanted to touch on something real quick. It, it, yeah, yeah. Like, it. so Israel has like, what... Close to 90% to of their yeah. country is vaccinated, but they had a surge in people catching COVID, mm-hmm. the Delta variant, you know, yep. so try to make sense of that. And the, the media mm-hmm. never really touched on that thoroughly and really They're went in depth it. on it. I yeah, have I a talk- clip. I might edit it in here. Of okay. That, of a, no, you should. Of the news report in Israel talking about that fact from right. doctors in Israel saying like, yeah, 90% and 90% of the people in hospitals have been vaccinated yeah so i'm like okay that just like crushes your whole narrative mm-hmm. more people should be outraged just by that but and they're the, not it's the cdc's even admitted that getting the shot now doesn't stop you from getting it they keep like notching it down like before it was like it'll stop you from getting it now you might get it but you won't end up in the hospital now it's or like you might not die now yeah it's like mm, well, you, nobody was dying before it's like 99.96 percent survivability rate yeah. so it's like yes. nothing has changed the surge didn't start until <laughs> people started getting vaccinated right yeah i seriously as soon as the vaccine started i now know 10 times as many people that have gotten covid yeah, yeah. 10 times like i, I knew maybe three people mm-hmm. before the vaccine came out and now it's just like Every just day, somebody else is getting it, including my brother. Oh, damn. It's just nuts. He's vaccinated. I went to go take my mic because I'm using a different mic now because the other one is broken. And I had to go to a couple places because the first place I went to couldn't fix it. The second place, the guy had just gotten the second shot, and he was too sick to, like, talk to me. <laughs> so he, weak. And yeah, he was like, I just got the second shot. It hit me really hard. Mm. So I had to go somewhere else. Damn. But uh, yeah, so the shot bad. itself apparently hurts you. Pretty but it good. only lasts three days, but COVID can last seven to ten days. Right. 
that that's when okay, I use that argument, that's what people are saying, and it's like. Well, here's gotcha. also something that people aren't really talking about. So even if you do get the vaccine, mm -hmm. it's only going to last six months because they're now saying you're going to have to booster. get the booster shot eight months after the mm -hmm. first shot. So COVID's not this long last. It's not a fucking tetanus shot. Yeah, it lasts ten years, right? The the COVID. Um, vaccine only lasts a very limited time. Mm -hmm. So people are acting like this is they're, they're good for the rest of their life. And it doesn't actually build antibodies right. like okay. most normal vaccines okay. do. That's why it's better just to get the, get the sick and then you get the antibodies and you're good. True that. But that's a, the CDC literally changed the definition. Get out! <laughs> the CDC changed the definition of herd immunity. Because what, okay. do you guys know mm -hmm. what herd immunity is? Kind of. I have a general idea what of what it is. What do you guys think herd immunity is? is well, it, I, I know that it's when me. when everyone gets sick and they right. build antibodies yeah, together exactly. and the bacteria starts working together to help you. Wrong. See, that's that's kind of what I was wrong. According to the CDC, that's <laughs> wrong. not the right definition. The CDC says it's when everyone is vaccinated. Mm. In other words, they don't I count read this, yeah. actually getting antibodies and sick <laughs> as part of it anymore. Even though on their same website, an older definition shows on a different article, it shows the original definition mm -hmm. when more when everyone has either gotten sick or gotten the vaccine. Now it's like only if you got the vaccine. See, this is a problem with the brainwashing. Why are people listening to the CDC? I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. they used to say that black people were three-fifths of the man <laughs> so i, I mean yeah. uh, just because somebody says something doesn't mean it's true yeah. a scientists can say that yeah. there's pastors that have said things that aren't true about christianity well i think you know? it's because they have the media uh, like on their pocket and that's what who's feeding this information to the culture and they control facebook and they control yeah. twitter and all these they're Big the ones tech, since yeah. deciding what is good and bad information you know. They have all the mainstreams. Yeah. But yeah, and I figured out who that was. It's the uh, the drummer of Offspring was fired oh. from the oh, band. Oh, yeah. They actually fired, who'd been with the band for years. Yeah, like 30 years. Because his doctor advised him not to get it. Because he'd already had the virus, for one. He had animals. Uh -huh. That's crazy. That's wild. And they fired him. How do you... That's just crazy. All these punk bands are just it's bound down, down, man. That's the opposite of punk rock. <laughs> Whoa, you're not going to listen to Authority? You're out of our punk band. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you being an individual thinking for yourself? Get out of our punk rock band. We only accept people who obey. Offspring, more like lack of offspring mm -hmm. after you get that vaccination. <laughs> I kind of like this mic because I can get like really into this mic. Nah, I like it. Like, use it. I like your British loud. accent, man. Pretty yeah. good. Oi. <laughs> Oi, governor. Uh, Obey the queen. The queen says, put on a mask, get the ten shots, and go home <laughs> to your flat. Pub. The, and use the head. Local pub. All right, before we uh, wrap up, I want to know what uh, Nigeria is like with all this shit. Yeah, tell us about or just COVID. In general, okay, really. so COVID, so as soon as you leave... The, when you're in the airport, let me start at the airport. When you're in the airport, you like have to when you're wear, leaving here or going or you're there in the airport. I say in any airport in the world. Okay. Dude, it's like Nazi Germany, dude. Wearing you're wearing a mask full time. They're scanning like, your body. The whole time you're in the airport, the whole time you're in a plane, they're like spraying people's bags down with like these chemicals and shit. What? That like was in, sterilize it or yeah, something? Yeah, that was in that was in Nigeria. They didn't do that in the States. Hmm. But I was pretty much wearing a mask for like twenty hours straight. I'm pretty sure in June, that's why I kind of got sick. Did they make you keep it over your nose and stuff? Yeah. Did you try and yeah, like... Yeah, dude. You, you can't put it... Only when you're eating or drinking. That's the only time you can have I'd your mask I'd be drinking off. water like six hours. <laughs> just like, yeah. That's what they I'm just announced. Don't know. worry. I'm, st I'm still working on that. Yeah. It's just like a couple drops. <laughs> Side note, they just mentioned in Australia that if you're outside and you're drinking, you have to keep your mask Jesus. on. I don't know how that, you're supposed to do yeah, it, but they the, said... The logic behind this, Anyway, man. yeah, so you had to keep it on for like 20 hours? Yeah, pretty much, because my flight was like 10 hours, and then you factor in the the uh, layover time, and then the time trying to get through customs. Yeah. So it was probably like 20 hours. Dang. Both ways. Yeah. You got to get a COVID test to enter Nigeria and to leave. 
and that test is roughly about one hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, it's someone's not, making it's not bank. Sh- yeah, right. well, we know that's, who's making yeah, bank there's, on that. Yeah, there's there's a lot of Bill monetary Gates. reasons why you know, this is lasting as long it is too. But once you leave the airport in Nigeria, it's like freedom. It's mm. like nobody's they wearing don't a care mask. anymore. Nobody's social distancing. COVID Ooh. doesn't exist in Nigeria. Oh shit! And you you know what else? Like the death what? rate there is extremely low. the The rates of infection are extremely low. No one's wearing a mask. Um, nobody's probably vaccinated over there as yeah. well. A very smaller percentage of people. Did you see any like ads or signage for that? Nothing. Yeah, that's they pretty mu- they pretty much know it's all bullshit. You know, that's pretty. pretty based. They do. Yeah, Nigeria's pretty base. Uh, right. Nigerians use Bitcoin and they don't get vaxxed. But I, like I, I feel like there's a lot of uh, other third world countries that are kind of like that, where they can't really enforce it because they already know yeah. the government's so corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can't fool there. us with that. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty nice being there, not not wearing a mask. That's it kind of cool. felt like um, normal society, you know. Yeah, yeah. It it felt good to just be somewhere where COVID isn't rampant and it's not. You're not constantly ingested with this yeah. fear. Because people know? say like Florida's like that, but living in Florida, there's still a mm-hmm. lot of people wearing masks there and is. a lot of people. Mm-hmm. There's until been recently, more. You couldn't really. There were places you still couldn't even go into without them forcing you to do it they're not as bad now about it but we've seen more people wear a mask since the delta variant than before that before that it was like man this thing's kind of going away yeah but it's it's gotten worse since i've gotten back ramping it back yeah yep going to the old playbook yeah you know (laughs) it's the same deal it worked last time so it's it's gotta work work this right uh. (laughs) it's working though but uh to answer your question yeah um covid isn't really a thing in nigeria you know that's cool yeah i didn't realize that yeah it's good to hear yeah even in like the bigger cities and stuff. yeah it's because it's not very easy it's not very convenient for somebody to constantly have to buy one of those bullshit little masks you know because you, you're oh, not supposed to wear those things you can just put more a than t-shirt over your face <laughs> you're supposed to be able to wear it for like an hour and you throw it away exactly yeah. exactly yeah and that's like oh yeah i've it's like never people had barely things. have like clean water and food why the fuck are you going to spend money on a mask mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. we'll i haven't seen the chances. news talk about how those are getting like thrown away everywhere either and are causing environmental issues because yeah. there's so many an masks insane and- pollution issue yeah, with the, yeah. but the, that's not a problem the gloves and the masks it's crazy mm-hmm. like it's a damn red light district throwaway mm-hmm. you know? no are you yeah. saying it's like a condom is that what you're <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me of did, like did, a red light i think district the cdc recommended that you know? did, did yeah, you guys you, ever see anyone wear the gloves and the mask like when covid like very oh, first yeah. started yeah like, You'd see people with like when gloves, I put on a condom, mask, I put the mask the sh- over it and then a glove over top of that. <laughs> I've legit Extra seen protection, people and like scrubs, dude. Oh, yeah, like, just like, <sighs> like a bubble boy. Scrub, scrub is a guy who thinks it's fine. He's not wearing a COVID mask. Anyway, nice. I don't know. I got nothing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. <laughs> well, like, don't go chasing could, stupid puns. How long puns. is this gone? We could probably wrap it up. We've Don't gone. We've gone go almost an hour. Chasing COVID balls. COVID balls? Wait, what? Yeah. You don't want COVID on I was making balls, a COVID dude. balls. A more G-rated version of that. Song. Nice. Oops. Don't go making. Wait. <laughs> Don't Edit. go making dumb dad jokes. Please <laughs> stick to the comedy that you used to. All right, let's wrap it up. I'm All right, afraid. perfect the, time to edit this up. part out. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. That All was right. good, dude. That was really good. Yeah, it was we good. We went for like a fucking hour. Guys. We're, we were good. naturals. We are. You guys are good. Getting there. You guys are well, good think, to talk no, to. Good, too, dude. I think we just have a lot in common. We it's like we're friends or in something. A while. Right. <laughs> oh, one thing it's I like wanted to mention. It's like we play in a praise band. <laughs> as we're wrapping up here, I just wanted to, I just wanted to shout out to my bro... Um, Ethan at H3H3, that dude is just really smart. Like, I just really respect him. And I love when he said, you know, bro, just like, you don't even have to think about it. You know, just like, just like obey what the government says and you don't even have to think about it. Like, they're paid to think for you. Just, just listen to them, bro. 
Just don't even Thank think you. about Thank it. Thank you, Ethan. Yeah, appreciate That's that. Just the wisest thing I've ever heard anyone right. say. All right. Just had to get that and in. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Sleepy Joe, for doing the Lord's work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Lion dog face pony soldier. <laughs> and Our fellow Americans. No, I can't do a, a Biden accent. I just... Oh, that sounded so more like, like Obama. For yeah, a I can, I can, I kind of was working <laughs> on Obama for a while. But oh, Biden. I don't even know how Biden. Like a blend Biden. of the two. Oh, <laughs> oh, Biden. Oh, Biden. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. It's like a bunch of roaches coming up my leg hair. It's just like <laughs> true international depression. <laughs> That's a quote. That's a real quote. No, it is. All right, it we're just ad libbing now. Yeah. We want to wrap it up. Wait, how do we wrap? We're this still up? recording. Yeah, yeah, we're still. Re- oh, uh oh, this is embarrassing. You guys caught us right. in an awkward. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Zach. This is Thank you guys. crossing the chasm. Have a great day, guys. It, y'all. God bless. Peace. Peace.